This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasts with the perfect pepperoni pizza, SliceOnBroadway.com. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash AwesomeCast. Hey guys, it's the awesome cast, Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter and Mayhem Studios in wonderful, beautiful Pittsburgh, PA. Ready to get awesome talk tech, get geeky with you guys. We got we got an all-star cast here tonight. First of all, over on the couch, back in studio, eating that slice on Broadway pizza, it's John Chichilla at Chilla on the Twitter, our gadget extraordinaire at, at Big Ass Bank. Big Ass Bank. I like Big Ass Bank. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna run with that. Bab. I'm so bad. <laughs> you're just gonna you're just gonna have to run with it. How you doing? Pretty good. How are you? All right, all right. And also with us in Studio K, it's Katie Duda's uh Dutter K Dutters on the Twitter uh social media extraordinaire with the Scarehouse and Sidekick Media Services. Hello everybody. Hello from uh, Newcastle, PA. Yep, way yep. up north. <laughs> way up north. Way, way up north. And also back with us, he's at uh, am I making? A, I can't remember if I'm making up a newspaper for you or not. Uh, uh, a big ass newspaper. <laughs> big ass newspaper. The big ass Times. Newspaper. He's a journalist and video show guy. <laughs> he likes to talk about beer as well. Mike Pound at Uncle Crappy. You're at Uncle Crappy on the Twitters. Is the fun? Is the fun account? <laughs> that's the fun account. Um, uh, Mike Pound PG is the other one. Not that that's going to give away. Anything. That's that. That account is less fun, but no. more sort of official. No, no, yeah, more more officially official. This is your awesome cast. We're going to talk tech. We're going to get geeky. We're going to get into things. Um, and, uh, and 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 have some fun here. Uh, you can check us out at awesomecast.net. You can check out uh, uh, this, the awesome chat. We talked with our. Uh, uh, some people doing some a really awesome movie in, in Pittsburgh this, uh, or I'm sorry, in Pennsylvania on Awesome Chat this week. So go check that out. And, uh, uh, and all of our past interviews and episodes are up there as well. Uh, some uh, videos and stuff over on YouTube. Uh, uh, clips. We're, we're clipping out parts of the show uh, that I think it'll be interesting for everybody. So please go check those out. Comment on them. There's been a lot of you actually commenting on uh, a few of the videos we've done in the past and some of the interviews. iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, iHeartRadio. You can join us live. It's again set up around 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time at live.sorgatronmedia.com. Check us out on Twitter, Awesome Cast on there, Awesome Cast on the Facebook. We have a great Facebook group. You guys can talk with us about the news and let us know stories you'd like to be on the show or even tweet us stories as well. We like to collect them through that as well. Um, and also, we are also streamed live Thursday mornings, 8 a.m. after Funny Money at RiversEdgePGH.com. Our good friends over there. Please go check it out. Thank you to our Patreons, patreon.com slash awesomecast. Some people, great people supporting us there. This will see business development. Our friends up in Cranberry Township and uh, Mike Fedor show at Mike Fedor show on the Twitters. Uh, big, uh, big supporters of the show for a good long time. Our executive producers and you guys can support the show if you're getting a value out of this as well. We're at patreon.com slash awesome cast. All right. So let's get into it with our awesome things of the week. And in celebration of Inter International Women's Day, Katie, you're going to go first. <laughs> Hi, everybody. <laughs> it's me again. Hey, um, sur surprise. It's International Women's Day. <laughs> I get to go first. Um, mine is the Google Doodle. I don't know if you checked it out today or not. Uh, it was based around the hashtag One Day I Will. Uh, and for International Women's Day, they visit Google uh, Doodle team visited 13 countries and spoke to 337 women and girls about what they want to achieve in their lifetime. And the aspirations were anything from like swim with pigs in the Bahamas to give a voice to those who can't speak. And they even talked to um, Jane Goodall, the anthropologist, who says she wants to discuss the environment with Pope Francis. But they culminated this into a nice video and a lot of really good tweets that they've been tweeting out all day with uh, different engineers and members of the academia. And it, it's really it's a really neat doodle to celebrate awesome. today. Yeah, there's a lot behind this. Holy crap. A mm -hmm. lot of videos uh, all around the world. Uh, it's cool. Google really goes all out for these things. Yeah, and I love the hashtag. One day I will. Mm -hmm. it, it's just it can mean so many different things, and it's just like you said, Google does a great job with this. Awesome, awesome. Go check that out. Um, cool. And let's go around. Uh, also, no, no, I'm not gonna make a joke there. International, not in, not in, in international 
I'm going to cut that part out. Okay, uh, John Chichilla. <laughs> so I got so because I'm an app whore. Um, he wrote that, by the way. He he wrote that, that in the document. So because I, I'm an app whore. Be, so I have a problem, and and if you if you frequent like nine to five Mac or um, call to Mac or a, a lot of the Mac sites, and and they do it for Windows, and I, I think they do it for Steam, but it's all these deals where pick any of these 10 apps and they pick, you can get 10 of the top 40 rated at Mac apps for 20 bucks. A lot of times it's <clears throat> here's 15 apps for 30 bucks. Here's whatever. So right now, nine to five Mac is running a deal. Um, like I was saying, 10 apps for 20 bucks and these applications. And, and sometimes I get stuck buying these like deals be, and I have like apps in triplicate. But I still paid less overall for everything than I would have just for a single app. So in this app deal, you can pick up applications like Hype 3, which is an HTML5 WYSIWYG editor, retails at four or 50 bucks, Screens, which is a really nice um, remote desktop type application for Mac and Windows for 30 bucks. Um, there is Flip PDF, which is a pretty cool application, which I'm actually interested in picking up this deal for this one. You can take PDFs and tr transition them into dynamic page flipping magazines, catalogs, brochures, and eBooks. And you can do that, and it'll actually export it not only into EPUB format, so you can read it in your favorite eBook reader. It also will do it in a um, in an HTML5 format too. Um, there's other applications uh, like Decompose, where you can extract objects out of an image to kind of clear up as a background and use it for clip art. Clip art. Um, there's back in focus to refocus blurry images that usually retails around a hundred bucks. Um, video converter, which pretty much lets you quickly convert to any kind of video. Um, there's another one that does audio and video, but it doesn't do as many video formats. So, so all in all, so you can pick any of these applications, any 10, um, and for 20 bucks, um, pretty, pretty darn cool. If you ask me, if you're, whether you're a graphics person, a development person, a video person, all the gadgets and tools, pretty much everything you would need. Um, obviously, you can buy multiple iterations of this and collect all 40 if you'd like. But um, <laughs> gotta gotta catch them all. I gotta catch them all. But I mean, so so like I'll pick this up. I already have Hype Three. I got it as part of another app bundle. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. Go check it out if you're looking for applications to get something done. These deals usually run. Eh, about like once a month um they're also running one for wordpress themes why you need a lifetime subscription for wordpress themes i you pick one and stick with it if you ask me but there, there's that deal out hey, there too. some of us just like me who installed just the amp wordpress plugin for no reason to four sites today without testing uh yeah let's, let's change it up let's change it up i like the <laughs> theme keep, of day I, I like to keep my users on their on their toes to my blog google okay. has the doodle you have your theme of the day. Theme of the day at Sorgatron.com. <laughs> Look out for it. You're not going to know what you're going to get. Am I on the right site? Oh, I don't know. Oh, there's Sorg. Yes, I am. Um, awesome. Go check it out. So 9to5Mac.com, and it's just linked over there? Yeah, it's it's over there, and it's the Mac app bundle. Yeah, I've, I've, I've been a victim of these. Actually, Mac Heist is responsible for us starting to do video here on this show. Because um, I got Boinks TV you got Boinks. at the time. I picked up Boinks, and I was worried about registering it, so I still have a copy of boinks that i can register got a part of a bundle yeah yeah just just well, have it sitting in the in the in the, in the wings just in case i saw some apps on here like kinemac is, is part mm -hmm. of this this bundle i i bought that with a mac heist and i've never freaking used it <laughs> and, and that's the funny part is you're like oh i'm gonna do this and this sounds really cool and it's gonna make my nope. so much easier nope doesn't really happen mm, yeah doesn't really happen but but you got it you got it if you need it later it's kind of like yeah you know like <laughs> one day one day yeah. yet it's not even compatible with your mac anymore you know so all right That's so i ahead. just checked out my email and i do have a mac heist from 4 12 14 so april 4 <laughs> 2014 <laughs> that i haven't even done anything with. Wow, that's a that's a more recent one, I think. Right? Oh, good. Um, also, humble bundles, very dangerous. Yeah. Very, 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 very dangerous. Wow, uh, I'm kind of curious what, how far back mine go. Uh, let's see, I got some Mac High stuff from 2008, actually. Yeah, I got cereals that I bought in uh, in uh, uh, April of 2009 that I could use. I wonder if those are still good. Mac Heist 3. If, if they aren't good, sometimes you can write the developer and say, hey, my, this was my code that I got and it no longer works. Mm -hmm. And they'll send you a new one. Oh, this one had Acorn, Kinemac, World of Goo, 
uh, Boinks TV. That's what started it. Chromag Rally, which I think was also one of the early uh, iPhone games. So, and I, I still have it on my phone. I still, still have it. It's still a good game. game. It's a good game. Yeah. So yeah. definitely, definitely, definitely worthwhile. So awesome. Uh, so my awesome thing of the week, other than finding my old cereals for the Mac heist now, um, <laughs> my, my awesome thing <laughs> is. Um, there was an article in The Verge about turning your uh, old old PCs into a speedy Chromebook. And you guys know, as uh, Chilla, I think you're looking at a chat room on Linux. I don't know, is that monitor on over there? The monitor is on. Yes. Guest Claudia is in the house. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's up? Um, so, so, but like that over there, for instance, is a Mac Mini. That's still a G5. That uh, you're, you're you're checking that out, and it's running Ubuntu on it. And, and so I'm, you guys know, I'm throwing XP. I'm trying to resurrect old machines. I'm always very interested in in that kind of idea, right? Um, and and I've wanted to put Chrome, Chrome OS on a laptop, on some PCs, and lying around for a while because I figured you could get a lot, a lot, a lot of use out of them at that point. If you you can run Chrome, you're good to go, right? Especially if because most Chromebooks are like Celeron processors right. with like minimal amounts of ram well in this in this article they were even talking about or in the video they were even talking about like yeah you know you have so many pcs uh, lying around and most of the time if you throw this chrome os on it um they'll run better than a brand new off-the-shelf chromebook because they're so underpowered by the way look at this big clamshell white thing that they pulled out well let me let me pull back to them on the video chilla look at that thing what is that Ooh. this is hp thing that that's like looks like a, a macbook like a clam macbook from, actually from look, around 2000 yeah, the, the clam macbook with it the ones that came in all the different colors yeah yeah um but this is the, I love, they just have a stack of, of laptops um but <laughs> <laughs> uh but it's a uh, cloud ready is is the product it's actually by uh never neverwhere um so so the idea is it, it you can get it for free. You can download the USB. You can go check it out for yourself. Um, but they also have options that include support for uh, schools that are starting at about fifty nine dollars per computer. And, and there's a lot of there there are a lot of options there, including um, kind of a managed solution. Like if you need to manage several of them, you can manage the accounts, the Google accounts, and everything that logs in, and what exactly they have access to. Um, so that's kind of nice. Uh, but it, it's basically it's Chrome OS. It's based off of the Chromium, um, the Chromium project, which is you know Chromium is just like you know anything else. It's the um, uh, the open source Chrome or the the is it not the open source Chrome? I'm, I'm not developer preview. What what am I Chromium, thinking? So Chromium's like the Chrome kit. So it's the yeah, it's the open source. It's like the it's like Android without the Gmail and the App right. Store. Right. 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 Um, so they took that and they, they kind of made a nice, a really nice, actually, installer uh, to kind of get around and get this on, a, on, on, a, on an old laptop. Um, now, I was a little concerned because when I'm looking at this, they have officially um, um, supported machines and a lot of a lot of stuff from Dell, a lot of stuff that even some MacBooks are, are on here as well. Uh, so so you have a lot of options, but still, I was kind of wondering, like, you know, I don't think I have any of the particular models that they talk about on here. Uh, so I went to check it out and I have, uh, you guys have seen it, an old uh, Dell XPS that's probably about 10 years old. And, uh, you know, it, it's, it's, it's been a workhorse for me. Like I've been using that as, as recently as a few months ago, at, at showing videos on the big screen in front of 300 people at wrestling shows, you know? Um, and I threw it on a USB drive, loaded it up, just loading it up. It worked fine. I didn't notice much lag other than, than obviously it's a, you know, a, 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 a Intel M processor or whatever, Centrino, Centrino processor from back in the day. So it's obviously the mobile processor, um, a, you know, a pretty decent RAM and everything like that. Uh, but the, you can definitely try it. And the nice thing is you can run it from the USB. It just automatically runs from the USB. Um, so you're good to go. And it's you can see if it free. works, you know, much like Ubuntu. You you, you can mm -hmm. see if it works on this machine. That's how I kind of test. Okay, can Ubuntu even load on this machine? Okay, if that doesn't work, then then this machine needs to go, needs to get out of the house because it, it, it's just there's no more use for it if it can't at least run that level of stuff. Um, Do you know if this? So, so one of the big things that I know about Chrome and Chromium is there they have very specific licensing for Flash and. <laughs> OS updates. There is I see this flash. So there is flash. There is there, there because they talked about installing flash on the on the Verge video. Okay. Um so so it's it's included. I I, okay. I think 
I think Neverwhere took care of that. Okay. So I think they're taking care of that particular part of licensing and mm -hmm. using using Chromium again, not mm -hmm. Chrome OS, Chromium. So I think that opens them up a little bit in that in that regard. Um, so so for those that have been like kind of wanting a Chromebook, but like why should I buy a new machine that's going to be underpowered? Um, you can throw it on anything. You're good to go. Um, now there's only a handful that are supported for dual boot mode. If you want to put it as the alternative thing, um, like I think I accidentally almost um, um, wrote over my entire OS on my main MacBook. This is why you don't test things. This is why you Oops. test things on on not your, <laughs> you know, not your main device, not main main devices. Yeah. It, I, a lesson that I never learn apparently. Um, but okay, yeah, I wonder, can you run it in a VM? I probably. I, I can't imagine why not. Um, but uh, but no, it, it was good. And, and, and I logged in with my account, had everything Chrome uh, that I usually use. I, I'm usually living in Chrome. Uh, it took a bit for, to install everything. And again, running for the USB, it was very speedy. I'm using my Iron Man USB drive. So you, nice. yeah, yeah. Um, so definitely recommend it. It's pretty easy. Like it, it, you know, I've gone through a lot of making um, making uh, uh, bootable drives off of Ubuntu, and uh, and and. Uh, Ubuntu variants, Xbuntu, and and, and, and and versions like that. Um, it's it's the most straightforward process I think I've ever seen for for making those. So so you know as long as you have like oh I can download this app and follow these directions, you're good to go. Um, so I, I recommend anybody interested in putting an alternative thing, maybe resurrecting some old uh, some old uh, uh, hardware. Um, I mean this is the kind of thing I threw Ubuntu on on an old laptop. Um, that that you know that that my wife kind of grew out of, um, and it became really unreliable with Windows Seven. I think was on it. It's running Ubuntu, and that's why I use at work as kind of a side thing to throw like you know tweet deck and stuff on, and just having a computer at work that I can log in and check stuff out in case like maybe I'm there and I didn't bring my laptop or something, or somebody needs something to work on, they can at least get on the internet with it. It's pretty mm -hmm. capable. I'd love to see it running this and see how it works. What would be interesting is too is the Chrome includes the Chrome Remote Desktop now, mm -hmm. so it'd be interesting. Can you a either leave this up and running in the house and use it as kind of a jump point to get in from the outside or B, have it as your kind of device that you take out and then jump back into other devices. On your I could see network. that. So I could certainly see it like a nice lightweight <clears throat> kind of thing that was, mm -hmm. as long as your laptop's lightweight enough. I would love to, since this Google Hangout is what we use in here, mm -hmm. I'd love to throw it on every one of these computers and use it there, uh, but then Desktop Presenter is not going to work with the uh, Wirecast. Mm -hmm. So unless I had a, a bunch of video feeds in, it's not gonna. It's not gonna work out for me in the setup that we have right now. But somewhere down the line, I, I could definitely see that. Throw it a bunch of old. Throw it on a bunch of old computers. All it's doing is running a browser and running the Hangout. Uh, probably more efficiency than efficiently than even it is now with Windows XP or, or on an old iMac, um, like 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 these two are right now. Um, I, I think there's a lot of options for it. So, uh, Katie, you can put it on your old Hello Kitty MacBook and maybe get a little bit of life out of it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Very good idea. There you go. So uh, check it out. It's uh, neverwhere.com if, if you want to look into this. And like I said, there's a, also an article over on uh, theverge.com. Well, guys, uh, one thing I don't need to upgrade is my pizza selection here in Beachview. Yeah. Uh, Slice on Broadway, our good friends over there, uh, right along the tracks here in Beachview, uh, in Pittsburgh, in the South Hills. In the South Hills, um, and definitely, I want to hey call out if you guys are in the Pittsburgh area. Definitely, um, um, this is the time to I'm calling out support for you guys because there's a lot of stuff happening here in Beachview. They're actually going to be redoing uh, a lot of the tracks up here. So if you have not visited Slice on Broadway, um, yeah, it's going to be a little hard to park. Yeah, it'll be a little tough to get up here. Maybe you got to park a little further down on uh, Broadway Avenue and walk in there. Uh, but make sure to support our guys up here. Uh, and all the businesses up here in Beachview, if you if you don't make it over here, get off the tee, get off the tee, even there's a stop right in front of it. Well, no, I guess there won't right be a now. tee. There won't be a tee, but there will be a shuttle. Okay, there will be a shuttle. Some of you guys will be coming through here anyways. But even if not, just stop when off, start? check it out. Uh, the end of the month, like the 27th of March. Uh, but but call out for that. Check them out or one of their alternative locations at um uh in in not Cranberry Carnegie in Carnegie, PA, down there on Main Street, and just announced, and guys. And, just announced and and, and new yeah. location at PNC Park. What PNC Park? Crappy! You're gonna get your get get your hands I, on some slice on Broadway on the regular. 
I, I, I almost made that my awesome thing of the week. I, was <laughs> I know so where I'm going. A couple days ago. Um, so there's, there's a, there's a lot of pizza on the North side and, and it's, it's okay. Mm-hmm. You know, and we don't really have a standout pizza place. Um, so I, I predict at, at least, at, at least for the first month there once a week, at least, at least <laughs> slice on Broadway in my house, I like, and, and I get it on the way home. I'm going to pick it up on the way home from work and take it there. Will, will they deliver? I am really stoked about this. I, I don't even care. I, li- I work like right next door, so it's going to be fine. Well, on occasion, well, on occasion, I'm over at Microsoft on Isabella Street. Yeah. So if I can get them ah. to start ordering when mm-hmm. we're over there. Mm-hmm. That's an oh, excellent yeah. question. Listen, listen, there's a lot of you guys. There's a lot of you tech heads out there that are working on the north side. Well, you got your slice on Broadway coming your way. There's Rico and the guys are all going to be down there. I'll probably Rico will be hanging out there for the first bit at least. I know he, he th- usually moves with the new. It seems like he moves with the new ventures to make sure everything's going smoothly. So uh, go check that out. Or if you're down there, Pirates this summer for the ball game, you got the slice on Broadway. It's great stuff from scratch. No, no, no arguments. Great sandwiches. Oh, I'm getting hungry right now. I need to go grab another <laughs> slice over there. It's supporting. We need okay. We need a video of Rico going and you get pizza and you get pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Pichu gets pizza. Carnegie gets pizza. The North Side gets pizza. It's spreading. It's spreading. Damn it! It's so amazing. SliceOnBroadway.com. Find out where they're moving in next. Apparently, holy crap! And they started right here in Beachview, right here along the tracks in Beachview, and they're growing out of that. So it's good to see. Awesome, awesome, awesome to see. Uh, SliceOnBroadway.com. PGH, PGH underscore slice on the Twitter. Look up Slice on Broadway on the Facebook and uh, and the Instagram. The Facebook is actually where I heard the news about the the the, the PNC Park. So uh, good good for them and and uh, uh, great to see them growing as well. So all right, Katie. Uh, Katie wants me to talk about dancing. Yes. Unfortunately, my guy isn't dancing. I think he's he's battling a Hulk right now or something. So I got addicted to an app last week. And yeah. and so unfortunate. I know. Uh, so there is this app called um, Avengers Academy, and uh, it's the, it's basically the Simpsons tapped out of uh, of Avengers, um, but it's diabolical because not only is it like like the the um, you know it's, it's the tapped out like I get my little guy like there's Loki right and he did some stuff and I'm gonna go tap on things to to get my rewards and let me see let me see if I can I'm gonna do this I know I'm gonna lose for this but um, okay so basically. You're, you're, it's Avengers Academy. Everybody is a teenager except for Nick Fury and Hank Pym for some reason, right? Because they're perpetually old. Because they're perpetually <laughs> old. And uh, But there's a strange mystery that's happening because if you're in here and there's this time fog that you have to reveal uh, places, right? And we don't know what's going on and we're seeing strange things in the time fog and in... And, 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 and even like they, they moved some debris over here. We saw um, um, Tony Stark's uh, Tony Stark's uh, uh, um, uh, helmet from when he's uh, what, from later when he would when he hasn't even made his helmet because he's a damn teenager. Look at him. That's actually the second uh, level for him uh, where, where he has just a little bit of the Iron Man suit. So there's this weird mystery going on and there's a storyline that's really captivated you if you're a Marvel fan. Uh, Wasp is one of the probably like the second character that you get, and uh, she's uh, big on social media um, <laughs> and fashion apparently. Uh, so, so a lot of some of her tasks include um, going to uh, post parties on social media or something like that. Uh, but the most amazing thing, and this is the thing that kind of captured me at first. So, like I say, low key, I know he's a bad guy, <laughs> but there's there's some interesting stuff going on here, and I'm going to do this at, again at the detriment of knowing that I'm not going to get anything out of this because I need to show you guys. There is a you you often you get these tasks. Like I got a couple of these, and I'll, if I if I send them to uh, uh, practice brainwashing over at Shield headquarters, I'll get some rewards. If I have them go fight a bomb for a little bit, I'll get some rewards. But I'm going to sacrifice that right right now because you need to check out da- uh, mastering the dance floor. And he's going to go over to the dance floor in the club over on Aca- Avengers Academy. And uh, as soon as he gets over there, I'll show you. And he's going to just do a jig for two hours. <laughs> Look at him go. Look at him go if you're on video. Uh, this is pretty fantastic. Uh, you say, it's, it's diabolical. It's captured my imagination. It's that mindless thing that I get to do. But I get to see Loki dancing. At some point, I had Loki, Falcon, and Tony Stark all dancing, completely stag, on the dance floor um, for for about at least four hours. 
um, because that's just everything just just ran out. No girls, no girls allowed apparently. Um, what what is that on? It's iOS. Is it? Yeah, yeah. Wow. No, this is on my phone. Um, it, it's iOS. Yeah. I, I I believe there is a, a Android version as well, and it all connects over using Facebook. So it's one of those things, like like a lot of these are when they're freemium. Um, yeah, I can't I can't stop. And then on top of that, on top of that. <laughs> The lead, they have a special event. The leader has invaded, and he's shooting. And he's he, this this building has been on. Oh, he stopped shooting. Oh, something happened. He was he, this this thing was on fire for like the last week. Um, but uh, the the leader is here, and I need to build up my guys to fight a bomb in the Red Hulk uh, over here. And uh, and there's 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 a rival academy. There's the Hydra Academy that, <laughs> that you need to, and they they'll they'll come and try to start fights. Um, it's it's the dialogue is is interesting. Um, the voices are actually interesting. Uh, Allison Brie of Community, I think, voices the Wasp. John Cena of WWE voices uh, the Incredible Hulk, and I uh, I think uh, which one's the lesser Franco uh, is actually uh, Tony Stark. Not James, the other one. <laughs> Not James, the other one. That yeah. So I mean, <laughs> lesser. <laughs> some 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 legit actors and and pro wrestlers apparently. In this, not that you really have the audio on all the time because you're going to hear the same phrase over and over and over. Um, so is it like where you have to like if you want extra coins, you have to you can buy them? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Like like they're like oh you can buy this guy like early if you have like all these shards. And I'm like screw your shards, man. There's a problem with Marvel games. So there's a Marvel fighter called Contest of the Champions, and, and that's a, I'm addicted to that. Right. And there right. has been. Ca- I, I would be embarrassed if you saw the bill. <laughs> oh, you've actually let's watched just, them. Let's just put it I that way. I refuse to buy anything. <laughs> oh, okay. Now it's intervention time now. Uh, but there's another one called Future Fight, which is like a um, if you ever play like the X Men Legends, like it's that bat. It's a it's a it's a action RPG kind of thing, right? Like an isometric top down kind of thing, um, where you 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 swap your you swap your guys in. Now here's my problem. I have this problem with Contest of Champions, Chilla. It is damn confusing. It is. Because there's like, four, I mean, other than I just go ahead and do whatever it tells me and click on things until it tells me to purchase something. Um, but I get in here. Um, if I can pull this up on the screen for you guys on video, I get in here. Okay, I have like two daily specials, you know, and it's all it's, it's always this this weird these weird things, and they're very very rough about you wanting to buy things. That's um, not contest of champions. No, this is future fight. Okay, but you see how many things I have across the top that collect. Like there are like oh, like four is... four meters of things to collect, and they get acquired through different means. Now I love the characters. I love that I have like Miss Marvel is, is, is the new teenage, the new teenage Miss Mar- Marvel. She just showed up in contest of champions. She's awesome. She's awesome. Uh, the, the book <laughs> the book is so great. Uh, I, I recommend anybody who's in the comic. Um, stuff. Go go start from the beginning and, and read the book. Um, but you go into these missions and uh, you have your team up kind of thing, like Contest of Champions. And uh, da, 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 there's a storyline that I don't care about. Da, 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 da. A lot of reading, a lot of reading, a lot of reading. And we get into it and it's an action thing. Um, Is it a side-by-side fighter? No, 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 no. I, I don't know how to ex- explain it. It's just kind of an, an over-the-top action RPG thing. You really just kind of click on things. Like, I don't even have to move my character like officially, like it actually. If I hit an action, it will just go towards the next guy and, and hit him. Okay. And then I have some special things. I can hit a hit a, a friend to team up, just like in Mortal Kombat. Um, it, it looks pretty serious, doesn't it, on a full screen like that? Yeah. But it's just on my iPhone. Um, so I mean, it caught my attention there. Half the times you're kind of you're kind of button mashing a little bit, and uh, I don't really know what's going on. Hulk is so badass in this game. Um, not John Cena in this game that I'm aware of. Um, but it, it's a pretty serious, fun game. Um, again, it's really going to be kind of diabolical and try to uh, uh, get you to, to to buy things as well. Um, but really, I'm just kind of smashing things up, and I'm good to go, and I'm done for the day. Uh, so, I mean, that's, that's future fight. So these are the things that I'm trying not to pay for. <laughs> Cause I buy yeah, my I time. lost at that game. You lost at that game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have been pretty good. I played, I've gone through WWE super card. I've gone through WWE immortals for a good bit. Mortal Kombat X, uh, uh Mortal Kombat X I didn't, I didn't pay for anything for. I couldn't get into injustice, but then the star Wars commander. Oh, no. I'm not paying. I'm not paying on it. Yeah. But I am hooked. Yeah. Hard. In, in Star Wars Commander. I That was one of those... That's You know, sometimes you load up a game like that and you see what the process is for what they're going to start bugging you for right off the mm-hmm. bat. And you're like, nah, we're out. We're, I'm, I'm not up for this. Like, my mindset has to be there for something like that. Like, to me, Commander reminded me of, like, the original SimCity mm-hmm. with, with some extra fighting-type stuff. And, and 
it, it's just it's one of those things where I can pull, I can I can hit it up and then not come back for eight hours and be good to go. Whereas like contest of champions, there's days where I'm like, oh, I get I get three more credits in two hours. I got to be back or up. Oh, it's only four dollars and ninety nine cents. I could play some more right now. <laughs> <laughs> anything I, I, I just look at anything that has a to continue. You have to uh, uh, pay either in fake money or this money. Like, I just take that as a, well, I've been playing long enough. I'm good to go. You know? Yeah. I think I think that's good. And and I, I, I don't know. Are you guys, Katie, crappy, are you are you, are you you addicted to anything like this? Katie? Uh, I just found, um, oh, shoot, I didn't download it quite yet, but it's a Fitbit game that changes your steps into different weapons and gold. It's like a Fitbit RPG. Really? And I mm. just found it because I was I was downloading the uh, uh, Mama Daughters now has a it's Fit RPG gamifying Fitbit. Um, I don't know if it's just on Android. I know it's in the iTunes Store too. Uh, but I was downloading the Fitbit app for Mama Daughters, and I came across this, and I haven't had a chance to try it yet. But <laughs> have you seen the run? Was it Run Zombies Run? Yeah. Well, the one that makes yeah. you like cross the street and stuff. Yeah. 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 I I haven't tried that one out yet, but um, but, but I mean that's kind of. That's a whole other thing. I mean, it's that kind of augmented reality thing where, mm-hmm. like, um, um, I can't remember the game. What was what was the game? Uh, they made, made by the Android people. The Android people. They're they're going ingress. To, ingress. Ingress was that where you have these points and you it makes you walk around your neighborhood and go to these points and power up and it's and an RPG. It's big in the city thing. and you partner up with oh, other yeah. people. And oh yeah, ingress was great, and it's even. It, I actually I feel like. I would still be hooked on Ingress if it didn't kill the battery on all my devices when mm-hmm. it came out. Now the technology is so much better. I mean, GPS isn't going to kill your battery like it used to. Mm-hmm. So I could probably get back into that. But now I'm so far behind with with the other people that have, have joined up and, and have leveled up so far. It's kind of like, why should I bother now? Fit RPG by Fat Chicken Studios. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. Downloading, maybe I think we'll try that out. We'll see. We'll we'll see how that goes. Hey, I'm I'm in competition with you now, Katie. So, uh, so uh, we'll have to. What's up? Step that up. What's up? What's up? <laughs> I feel so sad after I connected with so many people on Fitbit. I was like, oh, that's all I'm doing. <laughs> you're just making friends. You're not actually moving. You're just making. Friends. Oh, good. Oh. Uh, yeah, all right. Well, at least I'm better than so and so, you know, or, or whatever the case may be. There's a little bit of shaming going on there. I guess. We need to find like a really a friend that we know will never use it, just so we can feel better about ourselves. I still beat that guy. Hey. I, I have a couple of people on my list that that would that would work with. <laughs> um, shout out to the Mad Mike killing it on the Fitbit. It's incredible. Mm-hmm. It's incredible. He told me the secret is the elliptical, and I think he like he said like a Jay Z album. So. There you go. All right. What else we got here? <laughs> so you have the the mm-hmm. the two smaller echoes. Yes. Uh, so there was a lot happening with the Echo Alexa kind of thing this week with Amazon. Um, one, I noticed an upgrade and I didn't have any time to go through it at the time to my Fire TV. Um, I don't know how useful that's going to be because I don't have the remote. I have to actually pull up the app in order to use it. But I got to like kind of see a little bit of the Alexa kind of in- interface. So have you been looking, Mr. Home Automation Chilla at uh, <laughs> Big Ass Bank? Um, have you been looking at much of these? Um... So, so I've been looking at them, and and I was I was uh, I'm interested in. I I can't I I can't get my hands around the price of the original echo right so these are these are mini echoes so we have the uh bluetooth echo the, you have the dot and the tap so the tap we have the tap and the, and and the dot and, and the dot the dot's just like a hockey puck right and the tap is a smaller version of the echo a little bit smaller speaker and to ask it questions you have to hit a button so it's not a hands-free thing. You actually have to go hit a button for it. Now, is, is this? I felt like this was something that we get in conjunction with the original, or or it, could I pick up any of these and then have Alexa ca- capabilities? I think you could pick up the dot. Mm-hmm. Well, you yeah, you could pick up either one of them, and you're going to have those type of capabilities. It's the, from my understanding, the tap. You actually have to tap the button. 
mm -hmm. to get it to answer. And the dot, you have to have external speakers the, hooked up to it. The, the dot is interesting. I, I have no idea if it can function on its own, but the only way you can order it is through one of the original Echoes. Yes. <laughs> you, you, so... <laughs> So maybe so that maybe that may be a question that that has already been answered, um, because everyone who will have a dot will have will have one of the original Alexas sitting in their house somewhere. Hmm. Or you can get it via the Fire TV. Oh, okay, okay. There's an exception. So the There's so the exception. Fire TV with the voice thing, you can order it right. through there. Right. So so I can now I can pull up the app and I can do it. And now there's an right. Alexa app you can actually get for the iPhone that that will. Um, it looks like it caches all of your 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 Alexa inquiries, I guess, because it, it it it'll say you know it'll say hey such and such and such and such check out more information on the uh, Alexa app on your phone and if we go to it and actually I have and the I, app and here. I think they're doing I think they're doing that because there's limited quantity of the device that they actually built because mm -hmm. the very bottom of the article that you posted it says no word on when the dot will be available for everyone to purchase but it's important to note that it does work on its own without the full size Echo. Ah, okay, there you go. Okay, but but we don't want to give it to all of you yet. Apparently, yes, it's probably it's probably has to do with let's give it to people that that already have something and so it, it keeps the ordering down. So this is this is going to be embarrassing. Uh, so this is this is if you're on video, um, the you know welcome uh, Amazon is excited to bring Alexa to Fire TV. Blah blah blah. You can access Alexa and other Fire TVs will get access to Alexa soon. Mine have mine's the original uh, TV. And I was messing with stuff, and I was like, "Yeah, okay, uh, 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 hey, you know, <laughs> uh, kiss my wife. It's on my to-do list. Uh, uh, add recycling bags to the shopping list. Something I've been neglecting. Uh, what kind of movies can I ask about? Was something I asked, but it says it, it couldn't find the answer to my question. I was trying to figure out because I know there's kind of, um, you know, some interesting stuff you can ask. I'm like, what is there to do in Columbus, Ohio? And it read me a lot from Wikipedia." Uh, what is the Arnold you Classic? Could just I, ask me that, actually. Well, yeah, <laughs> I did on Twitter, actually. So. <laughs> oh, I missed. Okay, my bad. Mm -hmm. uh, ah. I think I did. I, you know, I was asking about Nashville because I'm going to be going there next month. You know, uh, there's some. I mean, so all all my inquiries are actually in here, and I can pull up more information on my app, <laughs> and which I I think you know is kind of a nice interface, especially you're talking about like something the Alexa or the Echo. I'm sorry that has no interface mm -hmm. like the audio is about it right and there's nowhere to okay i can't tell you more but i can show you more on the web in this article or this card or something and, and you get something like this and i think it's kind of a nice it's kind of a nice interface for it uh to to kind of add on i asked them how the penguins were doing they didn't do well that day um <laughs> and, and you have a nice history too like oh what was that thing Oh, I asked Alexa that the other day, and you can pull up the app and, and, and see what see that is, and and it's kind of a nice kind of history, a voice history that's not creepy like what what, what Google did there. Um, so I, I don't know what, I don't, what what do you guys think? I'm in because I'm interested in the automation side of it. I'm in, I am interested in in the dot, right? Like I would find that if I could have it behind me. Either in, I'm looking at it from a kitchen perspective or in the office perspective. Hey, remind me to do this in the kitchen. You know, how many ounces are in a cup? The, like all those types of questions. Remind, or add add something to my shopping cart that I'm thinking about, especially because, because of work and stuff like that. I'm constantly going on and adding stuff to my cart to then go back and decide mm -hmm. if I really want to pick it up later or I'm going to use it. So, so I don't know. It's a, I'm interested. I, I just couldn't. I couldn't stomach the the price of the the full Echo, and I feel like this is this kind of gets me into nice that halfway entry point. point. And then now you're using mm -hmm. your Fire TV was a hub, right? Mm -hmm. uh, which is smart because I can play around with it. Oh, they can do that. But it, it if I have to pull up an app to make it happen, it's no different than Siri. It's actually more cumbersome than Siri. Just like going into the Google app to do Google search is more cumbersome than going to Siri, right? Mm -hmm. yep. um, so. It's 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 a nice gateway for something like that. I'm like, well, it'd be nice if I had this thing over here in the kitchen that I can just say, hey. So, do you have to touch the button for the puck as well? I don't think so. No, that that one is hands free. That one is hands free. Okay, and I think it's actually rechargeable. Okay. Oh, just toss it out. <laughs> I'm be working in the basement today. I throw the puck out. Now I got now I got my friend to talk to, right? Or you can have it read you a book. <laughs> I mean, you can have it. You can have it do all kinds. Of, you could have it play your music. Mm -hmm. It'll play Audible from there. 
I, it, I it would be it would be cool to be able to extend what I mean the the, the Alexa that I have sitting in the living room. Um, mm -hmm. Uh, and, and we find more and more uses for that all the time, but it would be cool to be able to extend that to another floor. Uh, you know, John mentioned the kitchen and, and certainly uh, our, our Alexa is like right there. So we, if we yell at her loud and she responds appropriately, we can hear her from the kitchen. But, but, but like upstairs, there, there are, I, I, there are a number of uh, instances, uh, whether we're talking about like in the office or, or, um, uh, you know, just having one up here on the second floor, I think. I can I can already think of things when that would be helpful. They set the thermostat to sixty eight degrees because you're going to bed. All those yeah. kinds of yeah. things. It's it's kind of cool. Awesome. What about you, Katie? Hey, sorry. Oh, where'd you go? <laughs> I think you lost me. Hold on one second. Okay. I'm back don't talk to, her. to me about anything. I obviously don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine um all right uh so so uh, go check that out uh let's say they're not available yet or you can only purchase them or pre-order on i think on? you can order the tap now and you can order the dot but it only if you, you can only order the dot from the echo okay so you have to tell alexa over the echo to order you <laughs> to at least like put it on the shopping list right yeah. like there's no other way in <laughs> isn't that a, that's so weird it's so weird. It's almost like we, it's like an aptitude test on whether you deserve to have this thing, <laughs> isn't it? Maybe, and maybe that's really how they're doing thing. it because maybe there's they found out there's a learning curve to, to certain feature yeah. functionality, and they're right. like, "Well, if this person can't figure out how to order it, then they don't deserve to have it." <laughs> Amazon's not looking to make money from this necessarily, so I guess. Well, I don't think Amazon's ever looking to make money. It's always that not with essentially their products, but all the add-ons, <laughs> including our toilet paper and mm -hmm. and food and everything else we're buying from them. Yeah. All right. Well, let's get into some stories here. Uh, let's go around. I, I know, uh, Katie, you, you were sharing this earlier this week. Uh, Meerkat is no longer going to be live stream. <laughs> uh, what are they going to do here? They are going to be, instead of just being a, a live streaming like they have been, they want to create, they haven't really explained the whole thing out because I think they're kind of being mum on it until they kind of really get, get it going. But they want to be a, a social site for sharing, essentially video social sharing site. So it would be things that aren't necessarily live, but you could put videos up of whatever you're doing, it sounds like, and um, share those with certain people on Meerkat that are on Meerkat. Um, what they're going to do, it sounds like it's more like a Google Hangouts or Skype is, is one article says, um, but, uh, it doesn't exactly say what they're going to do. And I'm not quite sure how they're going to make it different mm -hmm. than what we already have, but I don't, there are no, I can't think of any social, uh, network sites that are specifically video centric besides like YouTube. Right. So I, right. At least anything successful, you know. I mean, yeah, yeah. And that's the thing. Like that sounds like great. Another X, right? Another mm -hmm. site that does this video thing. Um, and I, I guess they have kind of been, um, kind of cut off at the knees since since this function is now built into Facebook and and sort of into Twitter via Periscope. So I, I don't think they can. They they certainly can't compete with that. But they started it. <laughs> they, they, I think they, they definitely moved both platforms along in doing it and caught everybody's attention early on to say, okay, what's the next thing? What's the next thing? Um, but um, re really, I mean, between Periscope and Facebook, can you see any reason to use Maris Meerkat in its former shape at all? It, this is one of those things. I'm not sure who their audience is. If they're going to pick up on uh, maybe the younger generations who are looking for a place that nobody else is on, which is kind of what seems to be, you know, I think everybody's moved to Snapchat. We're going to see less younger folks on Snapchat. Mm -hmm. They just kind of migrate away from where we're at as the old folks. <laughs> so maybe they'll move back to Meerkat. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's, there's the opportunity there. I mean, you pick up a few YouTube stars, move them to Meerkat, you're in business. Sure. Interesting. Interesting. I'll be, I'll be curious to see how this goes. Um, I, I but it, it, well, it, it, Meerkat was an interesting story too, because um, the guys that were behind it, uh, they had like their philosophy were, was they had this full featured kind of video application back in the day. Right. Mm -hmm. It didn't work. It was too much. So they started doing mini experiments and they 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 I think they committed to releasing a new one, like something like every six months or every year or something like that. They hit Meerkat. It exploded. So they stopped and worked on Meerkat. 
So I wonder if what they're doing is, okay, Meerkat's obviously not going to catch up with all these big boys playing in the same space now. Maybe we start applying some of our other video experiments to this and start building it out into something different. And, and instead of those being their own apps, they're like, we already have an, I, you know, e- even though they can't compete with these other guys, they have to have more significant of an audience than, than this group has ever had. Just from Meerkat having reached what it did, even though it's flattened out, right? So I'll be curious to see what happens there. All right. Um, Chilla, tell me about Skype and their <laughs> TV app. I can't Skype on TV. So, so, and this, this caught me off guard because I'm like this, like I saw this on a bunch of media outlets today. I'm like, this is really, really people are like, they care. Mm, so, uh, so once upon a time. Okay. Okay. I want you to tell a story because I, so, I think I have so, somebody that does care. So once upon a time, Skype before, yeah, this was back before like Microsoft bought them, made a TV app and it came on. It came in one of two ways. It could come embedded in like a, a a camera. You plug it into the back of the TV, and it kind of had. It was kind of like Skype in a box, right? You had your TV as your computer monitor. Then you had this piece of this camera that had the Skype client built into it, and you switched to the, that source, and you you connected up to Skype um, via like a wireless keyboard type type interface. Um, then Panasonic was one of the first companies to indu- introduce the, the client on the smart TV. Now, and I keep in mind, you, you're going to have to have some kind, either the TV has to have a built in webcam or you have to have a way to hook this up into the webcam mm-hmm. or, or, or you have to have a way to ho- hook up a webcam to the TV. Um, and, and they're saying they're going to kill off support for the TV app. I'm not like I'm I'm having a hard time buying that this is that big of a deal. But maybe if you're saying, you know, people using it. I, well, OK, so I, I think probably when they look at the people using it, obviously not a lot of people are. You know how those apps are when you get like a Samsung smart TV. Mm-hmm. They're bad. They're right. Horrible. They're horrible. They're bad. But. But. But old people love them. And companies <laughs> that don't have a budget for co- teleconferencing systems, mm. like 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 people that I've worked for that had them, and they were using them for meetings, and they were going to use them for, I think, telemedicine a little bit as well. Um, this is going to be bad news for them. This but is it, this is this is going to be bad mm. news for them because they 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 bought a setup specifically to do this. Well, here and to me, here's the workaround, right? You take an old iPod Touch with a front-facing camera, <laughs> and, and tape you it to and, the TV. and you HDMI adapter it in, and, and this is your. You know what I mean? All you have to do <laughs> is get some tape. I mean, for 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 minimal amount of money, you can you can you can rig up a system to do this. I'm so glad this this isn't my problem <laughs> anymore. That's 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 but, yeah. So the one you saw, did they have? Was the camera built into the TV? No, or it was, was a, the, It was actually an add-on TV, an add-on camera. It was an add-on camera, yeah, and the yeah. camera took care of the Skype connection. Well, no, it was it was a, it was an application on the TV. Okay, whatever whatever model it was, like it was an application on there. But um, and I think it was like you could buy the extension for that particular model TV, um, and uh, and and you were good to go. So. Um, no, no, yeah, no. When this, when that cuts off, that day that cuts off, there's, there's some people that are gonna be upset about this. I mean, you could even, you not, could many, even not many, not many, but I mean, I know some. So. I mean, you could debate, go get an, an Xbox, and do this via the Xbox. Mm-hmm. I'm sure this is one of the reasons Microsoft's doing this because they're gonna come out with their Surface Hub, that kind of replaces this theory amongst others, right? In a conference room type section setting. To your point, if you don't have a budget, yeah, maybe you're gonna be hurting. Um, but you you got a good run. You got six years out of it. You got six years out of it. <laughs> Hope you didn't just buy that TV hoping to Skype with your loved ones uh, forever. Before. Like I feel like I feel like this is how you got grandma on Skype. Right? See, and I feel like I couldn't there was no way I was getting there was no way I was getting any parental unit in, in, in our family <laughs> on Skype. I mean it's FaceTime. It's it's mm. it's I'd have an easier time getting them on Google Hangout. That's true. Like it ha- now, it has to be an app on the phone, mm-hmm. and it has to be something that they can get a a ring or a, like it has to be. I don't have they 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 can't have to launch the app to get the call. You know what I mean? <laughs> like 
And that's yeah. why I, I see I'm, – I'm amazed at the amount of people I see using Facebook Messenger to make a phone call. Like because so many people don't have other people's phone numbers, but they need to call them for something. So they literally just pick up their cell phone, open up Facebook Messenger and hit dial. And, and that's how they call. Right. And it's data. It's not like you have to worry about some kind of dial tone or mm-hmm. having. I mean, if you're on Wi-Fi, it's free. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I, I, I Skype with my father once. I, 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 help, I, help, I helped set them up so they could Skype with their grandchildren. And the first time that I called my dad because I saw he was on his face. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> what? Is, is that you? <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, John, John, John makes a good point about um, working with a different generation and maybe the, the difficulties you have setting it up. But but they they they're okay. He was he was a little surprised that one time. But mm-hmm. uh, awesome. But that, that worked out okay. What about you, Katie? Have you had any uh, technological video phone <laughs> issues with Mama Dutters? No, she's she's pretty good at it. Um, sometimes she has a tough time flipping it around when we <laughs> FaceTime. <laughs> But uh, and not, I have not tried Skype, but I think that's going to be the next one because you could do multiple screens, like multiple people on the conversation, mm-hmm. um, because we like to chat with my niece and see what she's doing. So at least all of us could be on the same call. Um, I have not tried a Hangout because she doesn't um, – I haven't introduced her to Hangouts. Maybe I should do that next. <laughs> well, it isn't – can you do multiple calls on FaceTime? I don't think so. I think it's one-on-one. Not yet. Very specifically <laughs> one-on-one. So. I someone someone leaked to me today at a, a post they saw about iMessage coming to Android. What? Yeah. Ooh. I'm like, Ooh. that'll change the game. That'll change the game and confuse people even more. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Pound, Uncle Crappy, I am so sorry. I completely buried the lead on you here. I co- I swore <laughs> I gave you a turn at this at the well, top just, of the it's, show. It's, it's... It's because I was so excited about the pizza. That's, oh, that's, that's what, it. That's what that's what threw you off. I distracted you, and I distracted it's you with what pizza. That's what threw me off too. I, yeah, I really. Well, there I, you go. There you go. I should have been. You. I've been so excited about getting uh, that slice on Broadway <laughs> on the north side. Now, um, so your I, secondary awesome thing of the week that I forgot to ask you about at the my, beginning of the show. My not quite as awesome thing of the week, um, <laughs> it, and actually isn't isn't all that awesome, but it is is it is sort of topical. Um, uh, since this. This, it, it sounds odd to be talking about this when we should be thinking about actually voting online. Um, although that's that's probably uh, for political and other reasons that's probably still a ways away. Um, but the fact that the Pennsylvania you are now able to register to vote online, mm-hmm. um, and this and this did not happen until last August, uh, and and the state is 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 correctly proud of the notion. I just got a news release today. Um, uh, that says since January 1st, uh, more than 85,000 online voter applica- registration applications um, have been filed versus 68,000 paper applications. So uh, so people, um, surprise, are, are, are uh, taking advantage of the notion uh, that, that they can register online. Um, and, and, and certainly the, uh, the, the stuff that's going on in the public world has uh, something to do with that. Um, but but it's uh, we, we've got, I've got a uh, I gave you the link. It's easy to uh, to track down register um, if for some reason you're not registered, uh, and you've got until the 28th of this month to register for the primary for next month's primary election mm-hmm. um, when you actually get a say in, in all the fun stuff that's been going on uh, on CNN and on Fox News and all, all the other places. Awesome, awesome. Go check that out. Uh, that's uh, what, is there a quick link for that? Uh, I, I, I did not give you it, it's 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 very simple uh, register.votespa.com uh, that will get you to the uh, to the uh, intro page uh, the application is really easy to, f- to fill out and and the cool thing is um, because you fill out uh, your, your address it goes directly to your your uh, county's uh, um, board of elections bureau of elections uh, so they handle it from there. It really cuts down nice. the paperwork for for the voters, obviously, um, and it cuts down the paperwork uh, for the people who are receiving this too. It makes uh, everyone a little more efficient. Um, so maybe we can, if, if it, since this is being successful, maybe at some point we can we can talk about actually voting online as well. 
um, although they're, they're, for political reasons, that will be a bigger hurdle to, to, to get over. Mm -hmm. Oh, get the younger people. And that's kind of the thing is, yep. is getting them. I mean, we're not yep. worried about, I mean, well, ideally, you know, anybody older should be registered for the most part, unless they're, they're, they're a new citizen or something. But, um, but, but I mean, this is, this is something you would still have to do if you, uh, if you uh, move uh, from, uh, from one ward to another, from one town to another, one county to another. Um, that's, that's, that's uh, you, you have to go through this, this process again. Um, but the fact that you don't have to physically go to an office now and fill out a piece of paper and hand it to somebody, uh, you can do this from home. Um, uh, that makes that, that in theory makes the process more accessible to everybody. Uh, and, and, uh, most of us would agree that that's a good thing. Right. And, and I don't know if, if anything else you mentioned about the, uh, the state, the state, the moving thing, I, I know some mm -hmm. people that have moved from to Pennsylvania or out sure. and then it took them years to make sure everything was done and registered and everything. So. Yes, yes. This process is a lot easier now than it used to be. Mm -hmm. All right. Hey, I got a, I got a fun one. This is a Kickstarter that that was passed around uh, earlier this week. I saw it on some podcast somewhere. Uh, the virtual outlet T, T as in T shirt. Um, we've been talking about our our VRs and our three hundred and sixty videos and and augmented realities over over a while now, right? And I thought this was a, one of the more interesting. Um, applications of such. There's a Kickstarter going on right now. Uh, they're at about 51000 of their $96,000 goal um, over there with 22 days to go. So it's a t-shirt. It's a t-shirt. It's a t-shirt. Oh, by the way, by the way, it's got the outline of skeleton on it. And when you hold up an app to it uh, on your Android or iPhone, it turns into uh, something else. It's an educational tool. It looks like a lot of fun, but you know, it, it, you remember the old PBS with like the guy in the bodysuit? You know, um, yep. I actually saw somebody something really creepy at the Arnold uh, uh, Classic where somebody was just wearing the pants of the of the of the no skin bodysuit uh, with regular clothes. It just kind of creeped me out. Um, but no, it, but you, you you have somebody wearing the shirt and you see like what it would look like basically if their organs were exposed. And then you, it goes into, um, if you're like, say they're they're showing the Mattel um, ViewMaster, Google Cardboard ViewMaster, and 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 you like get into the blood cells and everything like that, and they're using everything from the View ViewMaster to Google Cardboard to to the uh, Samsung uh, VR. Uh, so there's a lot of accessibility here for that. Um, it, it's a pretty cool concept. The app is free. You just buy the T-shirt. It costs the price of a T-shirt. But it's got these markers on it, and it tracks to it, and it's good to go. Um, it's a really cool concept. I, I, I like it. Jill, you got I, it. I, I really like this, and it's kind of the whole I can see inside you is kind of grossing me out a little bit. <laughs> it's not any creepier than that PBS thing. But what would be so? What I'm thinking is, wouldn't it be really, really cool if they took this one step further and made it like QR codes? Mm-hmm. Where you could get your own custom shirt made, and then anyone with this app, if they walked by you, could then get right to a site or get right into a something, mm -hmm. um, and you could kind of customize that experience. So I'm, I'm trying to figure. It is. A, it is a really cool learning tool for kids. Mm -hmm. It's just, and it, I thought it was really cool how, as you get closer to it, it obviously zooms in the video mm -hmm. um, to the point where, like, I think it has it's flowing <laughs> through blood vessels and whatnot. Um, but it is a bit, and, and to be, to be clear, like the video zooms in, like you're not getting mm -hmm. uncomfortably closer to the person's chest or anything like that. Um, so no, it, like it, it actually pulls into an animation to show what something is. It, like. it just kind of cues a video, right. And does a little zoom effect mm -hmm. to it. Um, but that's it. It's, it's a pretty cool, uh, uh, concept. I thought well, in the bottom, in the bottom one, they do have them getting closer in on the person. Mm -hmm. it's it zooming like, in on the heart beating underneath the rib cage right and, there is that function too mm -hmm. but uh no i think it's pretty awesome uh, i like if you go underneath the combine the t-shirt and free app to unlock your technology the features and the one is surprise your friends <laughs> <laughs> hello hey <laughs> uh kids parents schools everyone can check it out um i, I think it's cool i mean it, it, it's I feel like the presentation could be interesting. Like, is there just a day where the t-shirt wears this uh, odd t-shirt and everybody pulls up their Google Cardboard because you're a school that has Google Cardboard, you know, for instance, and uh, and, and that's the way you do it. Or, you know, maybe at a, at a museum or something. Um, 
but or just something interesting for for the parent that buys uh, wonderful educational toys for their for their kids. So, oh, and they actually have it looks like they might have oh they 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 actually have a Google Cardboard that um that they're giving out as a as a um as a reward at certain levels as well if you're if you're new to the VR concept. So, uh, no, it's pretty cool. Go check that out. It's um, um, for the Virtuality, T-E-E, um, over on the uh, on the Kickstarter.com. So, a lot of, a lot, of um, a lot of crowdfunding this week, including our awesome chat uh, going on as, as well. Um, anything else we want to touch on here before we head out? Crappy, did I skip anything else of yours? You you have the floor <laughs> since since. Should we talk about pizza? The way we, we did I'm, no no that we did, we, did, we got that we got that we got that. Okay. Anything else going on? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> uh, d- d- I'm I'm immersed in the political stuff and the beer stuff, and um, this is this is what I do. <laughs> it's, it's it's an interesting existence, and I'm I'm happy to have it. You're mostly off the tech beat right now, right? Uh, that is that is correct. Um, uh, the. the the have a, a fairly well established tech guy who uh, has been doing it for a very long time. Um, so I am I am an amateur as far as tech coverage uh, goes at the moment. But um, but ask me about beer. I can I I'm a professional there. Awesome. Tell them where where can they find the beer show? Uh, you can find the beer show at uh, postgazette.com slash beer me. Um, we have a new episode uh, every week. The most recent one was a trip to La Trobe to visit Four Seasons Brewing. Um, they are they are interesting. They won a great American Beer Festival silver medal in their second year, third excuse me, third year of existence, which does not happen very often. They they do very very well, and they're worth a trip out there. Awesome, go check that out. Awesome, awesome series. I remember you at your news desk back at the at the Beaver County Times. I was just wearing, thinking about that because wearing, there's, yet, there's yet another Steeler on Dancing with the Stars, and one of the most fun things that I uh, summers I did with the uh, with the old Newsbreak uh, series in the at the old place. Was was watching Heinz Ward every freaking week for however long that show goes, um, and I, I will not be doing that this time. But but that that was a, that was a lot of fun. Also, uh, cheese versus steel, I believe it was. Mm. So uh, I'm, I'm going to see if I can find that Google real special quick. special occasion Super Bowl edition of, of Newsbreak. Yes, that's right. News. Look up Michael Pound Newsbreak Steel versus Cheese, and you'll be able to find that on YouTube. It looks like I got a, I got a Bitly link. I hope this thing still works. We'll have to tweet that back out again. If uh, if our helper upstairs can go uh, uh, plug that in real quick, uh, we'll uh, we'll get that shared around. So, all right, uh, Kay Dutter is on the Twitter. Hi, um, I just I stuck something in your shout outs real quick for Peacemaker. What? For oh our Peacemaker. Friend. Mm-hmm. They made the uh, Toy Fair 2016's best playthings from the future. Nice. Yep, they're a local local company we've talked to. Yeah, we uh, yeah we did a series with them over at Alpha Lab Gear. Um, they do 3D printers. To um, oh, I'm still looking at the virtuality for some reason. Um, they do 3D printers. They're like kind of kiosks uh, in toy stores. Um, so awesome. They made the toy for it. Oh, they made a BB-8. Or, or no, this is something else. I'm I'm getting confused. No, that was something else completely. <laughs> sorry, um, too many toys. Too many toys. I'm sorry. There's a smart car. There's that thing. There's a BB-8. There's a hoverboard the that helps. There's a hoverboard that hopefully won't blow up. Um, yeah. Mario Kart quadcopter. Helpful, that's awesome. Hold on, they're in here somewhere. They're in here somewhere. Um, but that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, I saw something coming about them being at the Toy Fair. Uh, that that just makes sense. Uh, a lot of good guys, a really good product that they're working on there as well. So, hey, I want to give a shout out. Um, there is a a Indiegogo going on right now for a local film. And again, we talked to them on Awesome Chat. Blood on the Leaves is the film. Uh, B O T L movie.com I said they got an Indiegogo. Uh, the, 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 it's in the can. The, the movie's in the can. Uh, they're looking to uh, raise funds to do the proper post-production on it, sound engineering and everything, um, and doing a, a, a tour of, uh, of, of theaters uh, to uh, do kind of a, a road show, apparently, that Quentin Tarantino uh, made, made popular, like doing kind of a red carpet in these, in these uh, uh, small theaters and everything and have a lot of fun with that. So go check it out, B-O-T-L, botlmovie.com, and check out Awesome Chat later this week. For our interview with the uh, producer and a couple of the actors from uh, from that crew, so a really good time there. Uh, John Chichilla. yes, that's me. 
I don't have. I'm out. I'm out of. I'm out of stories and out of news. Mm. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the big. The big Apple announcement. Come on, Apple. Towards the end of the month. Tell us what we're buying next. And tell us. Yeah. Tell me what we're buying. And I'm waiting. The other thing is, is Samsung has to release their 360. They don't have a price or the camera. The, the 360. Oh, I can't wait for that. You can get you get one. I think I'm gonna get. You're one. just gonna 360 your whole house. Or are we gonna, gonna 360 the take whole a house. walk through the through the chill house? 360. I'm gonna 360 stuff for work for like documenting conference rooms and mm. technology. Uh, okay. Yeah. We need to have a conversation about 360 it. video in the near future. Uh, because okay. there's been a lot of conversation about 360 video around were here. We so. to, were we supposed to have a conversation yeah. about the nighttime mode and iOS? You know what? Generally. We need to have lunch that's not on the show to talk about these all these <laughs> other things that we need to catch up on. Um, so this is the only time I get to sit down and yeah. talk with Chill. It's not in Slack, so because that's that's about that. I'm guessing that'll be out in about a week or two. Yeah, that'll probably that'll probably be as well. Uh, at least uh, early April, I thought they were targeting. Yeah. So so look out for that on your iPhone as well. Um, yeah, because so what Android does it now, right? There's an app for it. The yeah, the app that used to do it on iOS. And we're talking about the night mode that apparently. It'll change the color of your screen to make it easier for you to fall asleep. Yes. Because the color of your screen as it is, is really bad for you to fall asleep after you've been checking Twitter um, or playing Candy Crush or whatever right before you go to bed. So, or or watching Loki dance in my graduate's academy. <laughs> as I do. Do we think so? Should we watch Loki dance? Would that, <laughs> would that make that better? So, I, remind me to send a message later. Um, okay. okay. <laughs> you, dance, you dancing over there, Katie? Um, yeah, and Uncle Crab, and Uncle Crappy on the Twitter at Kate Dutters. Everybody's dancing. Everybody dance at Chilla on the Twitters. This has been your awesome cast, awesomecast.net. Uh, do the dances. We do the outro here. The music should be kicking up any moment now. And we will extend it. Yeah, there's music there. Absolutely, there's music going on right now. Mm, getting awesome. Uh, awesomecast.net. Subscribe to everything. Thank you to for awesome chat room live. Awesome no live. Sorgatron Media Doc. Um, every Tuesday night, 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Thank you to that awesome chat room. You've been our awesome audience. Have an awesome week. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.